imagine all your 360 pictures come out stunning just like regular pictures by putting them through an HDR editing software with the click of a button so I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do this for 360 pictures I didn't think this was possible and I've been actually doing it for the last couple of months and I want to share with you guys so just like the picture on the right is a little bit brighter I'm going to take the same concept here and show you guys how to go ahead and do this on 360 pictures so in case you have some pictures where the room is dark you're going to definitely be able to go ahead and liven it up a little bit make the colors pop and and really bring the contrast to the room it's super easy and for staying tuned until the end I'm going to show you guys a few other tricks and for staying tuned until the end I'm going to show you how to do a cool little add-on just like this where you can basically take a picture such as this. this is a 360 picture and I have gone from original to that with one click and imagine if you have 20 30 or 100 pictures on the exterior you can change up the sky any way you like so you can go ahead and make your pictures dazzle hello and welcome to random fix in this video today I'm going to show you how to take your images from your 360 camera that might be a little bit bland dark whatever it is and process them through a HDR program with one click and the best part is you don't have to pay an outside company 30 40 50 60 100 dollars to go ahead and do this for you and you could upload this straight into programs such as Astro Room and made a reel so I'll have a link to those programs down below if you guys are new to uploading 360 images for businesses or Google Street View and you really want to make them pop I'm gonna show you how to do that now and it's super easy so follow along in today's video I'm gonna show you how you could enhance 360 digital photos so these are pictures that you can basically move around and uh, be interactive with instead of looking at a still picture kind of like this so you're able to move around and look at the floor look at the sky and these are really great when you're uh, trying to showcase a business real estate uh, you could even use it for personal uh, social blogging and if you find a very beautiful spot you can post up the images and it really does get a lot of views uh, I get probably about two to three hundred thousand people view my pictures and I'm over five million and I started about a year ago so this is a really great tool if you want to get some engagement going on and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can actually enhance these pictures so if you're using it for work such as in my case right here for real estate so instead of having to pay a dollar per picture and having somebody else make the determination on how the picture looks, I'm able to go ahead and enhance it myself with a single click. And these work for the 360 pictures. And I didn't even know this was possible until I started messing around with it. And I'm going to share with you guys what I learned. And I'm going to show you how to easily do this. I'm going to have links down below on where you can get the software. I'll have a coupon code for 30% off if you decide to do so. I'll also include all the links to any of the equipment that I use. So you don't have to go spend hours and hours researching because I've actually done this. And I'm going to try to save you guys as much time as I can. So let me go ahead and get this started for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to launch a program and you can try this for free before you buy it I think they have a 10-day trial and if you like it go ahead and buy it and it's yours for life it is not like some of the Adobe products where you have to go rent them and you got to pay monthly I'm not really big on that whole concept of renting software it gets to be expensive and I know I'm just gonna do this more and more so why not just pay a hundred dollars one time versus paying 25 bucks per month just makes a lot more sense to me let me know what you guys think I would love to hear your feedback too 
So this is Aurora HDR. And this is a really cool program. I didn't think this was going to work for the 360 photos because I almost paid a uh, dollar a picture to go ahead and get them enhanced. And there's applications on your phone on some of these services like Astro Room, which is this program right here, where you can go ahead and tweak the light, make minor adjustments, but it really doesn't do anything to the color. And when I take a picture, I want the picture to pop. I want the furniture to pop. I want the flooring to look like it did the day it was installed. And it does a lot for the picture. And it optimizes everything. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. And it, you can do it with the click of a button. So we're here in Aurora HDR. And when the program launches, this is the user interface right here. You click on Batch Processing. If you just want to do a single image, you can do it that way too. And this is really great. So right here for the 360 pictures, you can go ahead and take three uh, or five or seven 360 pictures. And as long as the camera hasn't moved, you can go ahead and blend them into one picture. So that's called HDR bracketing. And it's a little bit more advanced. I sometimes use it. Uh, it does really make a difference. However, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the single images and hit browse. Go ahead and locate your pictures. I've located all my pictures here and I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And this is really a cool little feature right here because I get to choose how I actually want the picture to look. So you can choose certain filter likes and I normally like to go ahead and uh, enhance the interior pictures just to give the furniture, the floor, a better appeal. So I like to use this filter right here, which is going to be the interior daylight. And that way you get rid of those kind of darker pictures. And you get to increase the effect of the filter up and down a little bit. I like to stay between 60 to 75 percent and now you get to also choose the quality if you're going to go ahead and post these on the MLS or certain other websites sometimes they won't let a picture over 10 megabytes go ahead and be uploaded without having to do a one by one so I, I normally decrease the quality down a little bit but in your case you might want to keep the quality at 100 percent and the nice thing is you just hit process and you can go grab yourself a tea, a coffee, whatever you want to do. And this is going to go ahead and take those images and make them stunning. And you don't have to do much. So we're going to come back to this once this is actually done. All right, so it's done now. I'm going to go ahead and show in folder. Okay, so here are my 360 images. And these are the images that just got processed by the HDR. And I'm going to show you guys this picture right here. I think this is the one of the dining room. So there we go. You can look at the picture here. It's nicely lit. And the HDR effect definitely took place because if you actually scroll in to where that tablecloth is, you can see that this no longer looks brown. It's got a nice vibrant HDR look and you can tweak these around as much as you like. So that's one look that I like to use. Here's another one and just kind of give you a quick little comparison. We'll look at that same exact picture. Here's another look. You can see this actually has more of a bluish tone to it. Um, nice cooler look. So definitely it does work and you don't have to do much. It got done with the click of a button. So now what I can do is I can actually grab these images and go ahead and put them into my phone. So I can grab all these and I even change the sky up on this picture, um, which is pretty cool. So I like to upload the different skies and I can go back to my computer. And to make it easier to upload, you have two different options. 
you can either go ahead and upload your images here to your phone so in my case this is the external memory card that's actually built into my phone and I make a folder called 360 pictures and my current project is going to be this Baycrest project I can go ahead and paste those pictures uh, in this folder and upload it from my phone or or I can just go into my Astro Room dashboard or whatever program you're using and most of the times you can go ahead and upload the picture right from here so now I can go do a direct import and now it's going to go ahead and process all those images up and that's how easy it was and so the pictures have already uploaded now and now what I can do is I can go ahead and move things around replace change order and delete so I'm going to delete that picture because I had this picture which I liked a lot better I definitely like the sky in this picture and I can go get everything in the order that I want to have the buyer experience and this makes it really easy and what I can also do too is I can go ahead and order those services like the 3d dollhouse once I have this in order and I like to also label these rooms here and I'm gonna show you guys a different way here on my phone I personally like that better because I like to add it into an album and in the album okay, in so case we're here on my Android change, device a little bit and easier to change I personally than like using the Android here. devices so better show you guys that next. Than, and so we're here on my Android device now I actually like using the Android devices a little bit more than some of the iOS products because it's a little bit easier to go ahead import and export images out without having to worry about going through iTunes or anything so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into the application and click on add a new project and you get to go ahead and name the project in this case I'm going to go ahead and name the project Baycrest and now I can go into here and what I can do now is go to import on the bottom right hand corner and select all the images that I want to go ahead and select and this is fairly easy once you select them you scroll all the way down depending on the time and you can select all the images you want to choose so I've gone ahead and chosen all the images that I want to use and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll to the top hit select it'll go ahead and import all those pictures into the album and this may take a few minutes depending on your phone and the size of your files remember you want to try to keep all 360 pictures in the highest resolution possible all right, so we're pretty much done here and now we went ahead and saved all the pictures here to the album and the album is pretty neat because I'm going to be able to do a lot more in here uh, such as name them a little bit easier this happens to be the backyard so you can see it actually pops up automatically you hit save and you can also go ahead and do anything else that you want to do such as deleting pictures you're just going to be able to go ahead and do that on the bottom there and get rid of any pictures that you want to go ahead and delete and once you're done with this we're going to be able to go ahead and upload this straight into the application into the actual final project and in for this video I'm going to go ahead and make a new project which I'm going to show you guys in a second but right here you, as you guys can see we're going to go be able to go play around with some of the filters I like using the HDR process a little bit more then playing with the filters inside here this is a little time consuming if you do do it this way however you can it just doesn't come out as good now we're going to go ahead and add a new project by clicking on the bottom right hand corner the plus symbol it will allow us to go ahead and launch a new project in this case I'm going to call this Baycrest 2 and the nice thing is you can also add in some additional information such as the description if you have a description of the house 
you can type in the location that makes it easy you can also go ahead and hide or display your profile if you're using this for the MLS you want to go ahead and hide your profile because any tour that's going on the multiple listing service for real estate has to be unbranded so you don't want to get in trouble and get a violation and now we're going to go ahead and hit save and then we're going to be able to go and import those pictures straight into here now if we go ahead and hit that little button on the bottom right hand side with the plus sign we can go ahead and select all the pictures that we want to select and what's going to happen is going to go import that album into this actual project and this does take a few minutes depending again on your phone and here we are we have everything imported into our final project and you're going to be able to go and move things around just like in the album here so if you forgot to do something you definitely still can make some adjustments with the name but you cannot apply any more filters you want to do that in the album so that's really important and now if you want to go ahead and order any services you can as well on the bottom right hand side hey guys i hope you're enjoying this tutorial on how to go ahead and change your image to an hdr image on your 360 camera and if you are go ahead and give the video a thumbs up make sure you guys hit the subscribe button right there that way it lets youtube know that i'm actually helping you guys out and coming from contribution and i really do appreciate it thank you all right guys as promised i told you guys i was going to show you how to take a basic picture and change up the sky with a couple of clicks so this program right here is called luminar 4.0 and there's a complete tutorial in the video box below if you guys want to go ahead and watch that and i'm going to show you guys how you could change the sky on a image with a click so let's go ahead and add an image in here and all right so here's the image that i took and it was a very bad picture because the sky was completely nasty and there was a lot going on because we had fires here in california so let's just say i want to change that to something a lot more appealing i'm going to go ahead and use the this program here and this program basically now made it where my very poor quality picture is going to basically dazzle and this is going to be a 360 picture here so when I go ahead and load this onto a 360 software and portal such as Astro Room is going to basically dazzle and I just had to click a button and it was done for me and I'll have a complete tutorial on how to do this from start to finish in the video box below. And in case you're curious on how this picture actually looked, here it is. How cool was that? Super, super easy. And they have sunsets. They have so many different skies you can choose from. And again, this was just with the click of a button. All right, guys. There you guys go. You learned how to take your 360 original pictures that you had. And now you've gone and put them through an HDR program. And the images look a lot more vibrant you can still upload them directly to some of the third-party programs such as Astro Room and Made a Reel and it works if you get this video was helpful give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one